I'm going to use his leaf and I'm going to ask him to hold the stick in a straight line up to the sky, up to the sun. Don't look at it, don't look at the sun. I want you to tell you about the modern science of what we know right now about all of this forest system and all of the forest systems of the earth, the whole of the planet. And think of the planet as one cell, one green fragile cell, because it is our home. What we have right now is something that is extraordinary. We have the green of the leaf, and the green of the leaf is called chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll produces something which causes our lives to happen. The sun comes from the sky in a straight line. Just follow the line of the stick in a straight line, and all of you know this. Now, but the sun also does something else. It does something that really puzzled Einstein. The light, hold up your stick there. The light also comes in a, a wave called a sine wave. It comes in a wave like the sea, this kind of movement, down with the stick, down into the whole canopy of this forest and all of the canopies of all of the forests all over the world. And what happened, put that down now, what happened is that light lands on the surface of a leaf. And it's the light that's actually moving in the sine wave that moves and runs and bounces on the surface of the leaf. And this is called quantum mechanics. And these are called photons that come down. And there is an exchange of the photon of the sun on the electron of the leaf. And what happens is that we've got air here that we're breathing. Carbon dioxide comes down out of the air, goes into the surface of the leaf. In the presence of that sunlight, and this is the magic, food is formed and oxygen is evolved. All of us, all of you, all of you, all of you have got lungs, a set of lungs, one lot here and one lot there. You could not live without the leaf because the leaves are producing oxygen all over the planet. This is this there, this here, this there, this there are huge multiple factories for the production of oxygen to keep us alive. If we were to switch them off, we would have no oxygen. And I would invite you to stop breathing for the next little while and see how long you could live. Every breath you take, every breath you take every day of your life, you give thanks to a tree because we cannot live without them. Now, they can live without us, but we can't live without them. About 400 million years ago, the atmosphere, this atmosphere was so toxic with so much carbon dioxide that you, he couldn't breathe. He simply could not breathe. He would die. <laughs> he would die. And the trees evolved out of... <laughs> the trees evolved out of the ferns, and they grew taller and enormous, and all of the dinosaurs were eating the ferns. All of the, you're going to have your turn. All of the dinosaurs were eating the ferns, and these evolved. But they evolved plucking the carbon dioxide, it's called sequestration, out of the atmosphere and flushing up oxygen. Only at the point of that, that man evolved. And all of the mammals of the sea evolved. And we have to thank the oxygen in the air.